Good evening or good morning or good afternoon depending on when you're watching this. It's currently about 11 o'clock and I'm about to head to Euston Station to board the Caledonian sleeper overnight train from London to Edinburgh. I've never been on a sleeper train. I've always wanted to do because I'm a big Harry Potter fan. Not that they sleep overnight but you know what I mean. Boarding a train from London to Scotland has always been a big dream of mine ever since I've read Harry Potter. So I am beyond excited, still trying to fathom the idea of having a bed on a train. So if anybody wants to do it, I'll show you the room tour, talk about my experience there, and let's just share the trip from London to Scotland. I'm just I'm very excited, if you couldn't tell, and also very sleepy. So stay tuned and let's head over to Euston now. door let's go in this is the corridor of the train it's pretty narrow this is the room so as you come in you've got two bunk beds this one's got a little strap which I'm guessing is to prevent you from falling on the floor when you're sleeping and then this is the bottom bunk and they've given you two little towels a little sleep kit a magazine and cute little stairs this is the wash basin which is there We've got two bottles of water at the top, a mirror, some hangers, and what's in here? I can't shut this door. Let me shut this door and then figure it out. I definitely don't have to worry about it being too cold here, which I thought it would be, so I packed loads of jumpers because it's absolutely boiling. So imagine coupling that with some body heat. You're gonna be just fine. Um, but yes, yeah, pretty small, and I'm very short, so it's pretty small for me, so I can't imagine if you're like six foot something, what it would be like, but I figured out what that door is it's the door to the next room I can hear them going in the next door pittering pattering around so that's a bit awkward I already walked into somebody else's room thinking it was mine it wasn't you've also got a temperature gauge even though you don't need it so I put it on minimum you can call for the attendant you can switch off the light so this is the main one or your birth one and then under here I think it's like a little desk <gasps> I'm acting like I've never seen a desk before. This is it, it's pretty small but cosy. We're gonna leave about midnight, 10 to midnight, and it's a seven and a half hour journey, so we get into Edinburgh about half seven. So I'm excited to show you that the sunrise, our breakfast, I've ordered two porridges and two cups of tea because one in Scotland. I'm hoping Hermione Granger or someone will suddenly turn up and ask me what I'm doing in this cafe and then she likes to be friends. Inside the sleep kit, you've got a bar of soap, some earplugs, and an eye mask. I get scared of eye masks because I sometimes wake up and get scared I'm blind. And the soap even says Caledonian sleeper on. So cute. Don't mind me just climbing the top bunk. <laughs> this is so much fun. Hi from the top bunk. This is so cool. I feel like I'm a kid again. It's very, very cool. I hope I don't fall out and hope these straps can hold me in. We're going. So I'm now in the top bunk of the carriage. It's pretty cool. It's pretty low down considering that I'm only five foot three. The train isn't too rocky right now. The room has a great temperature. There's a lot of lighting, which is the perfect optimal filming environment. I'm gonna catch some sleep now, so I wake up nice and refreshed. But the lady's gonna bring us some porridge and honey in the morning with a cup of tea and I cannot wait. But so far, the experience has been pretty damn awesome. I keep squeezing every few seconds because I'm just so amused by this whole setup. I just can't believe the train's gonna go seven and a half hours to another country. So that's pretty exciting. But I just wanted to wish you all a very, very good night and I'll see you bright and early in the morning with my porridge and yes, I'll show you the beautiful sceneries of Scotland then. But for now, good night and I'll see you in the morning. Okay, it is now 6.30 in the morning. Good morning. Actually slept quite well, surprisingly. There's a few bumps along the way, but I actually think that helped the sleep. Um, but yeah surprisingly very very comfortable bed but it is still very very early uh, so let's chow down and get ready for the day very amusing that's a scottish accent let's go poland falkirk high Crowley, and glasgow queen street I love the accent so much. It's my favourite accent. 7.30, Scott Rail service to Glasgow Queen Street.
Okay, so touchdown in Edinburgh is now about 7.23. I'm here. The sun is just rising. It's beautiful, it's cold, but not as cold as I thought it would be so far. Uh, but yes, I hope you enjoy this video of my experience on the Caledonian sleeper. Very, very cool, would we'll definitely do it again. Um, but for now, I'm now going to do a separate video on my time in Edinburgh. So whether you're Scottish, you're local, uh, or whether you wanted to go to Scotland or tourists, whatever, I hope you come along and experience my time in Edinburgh with me and I'll see you over there. But for now, thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you very soon. And now I look a lot more awake. <laughs> Bye!